Hello friend, I am Samadhi back with new crypto video regarding IS456-2000. In last video, I talk about the 28 number clauses that is about the concrete corbel and then I talk about the V of the block and to, lastly we talk about the dip pimps. So from today, we start with the reaped hollow block or slab. Voided slab. Okay. These cover the slab const construct one of the way described below. As a series of concrete reeds with topping cast on form which may be removed after the concrete has set. A series of concrete reeds between precast block. Generally, this thing using concrete. If you are uh, watching any kind of observing or watching any kind of metro construction or you may post it in metro construction then when you saw the pillar so you can find this kind of structure the top of the reed may be connected by a topping of concrete of the same strength as the user and this is of structure the moment and force due to design load on the continuous slab may be obtained by method Given in section 3 for solid slab. So, solid slab in solid slab, we use a particular design method. So, same design method we use for you design the reap slab. Okay, and that definitely do not mm, allow any kind of crack but like that. Now, talk about the shear. When hollow block were used for the purpose for calculating shear stretch, the reeve width may be increased and take account of the wall thickness. So, for the resisting for resisting shear, what we do? Now we do increasing width dimension. Okay. With narrow precast unit, the width joining mortar or concrete may include it. Deflection. The recommendation for deflection in respect of solid slab may be applied for reed, hollow block, or wide construction. The span to effective depth ratio given in 23.2. For flange beam are applicable. But when calculating a final reduction factor for web with the reef, for void slab, the slab constructed a box or I section unit, effective rate which shall be calculated because this is void. That is why we have to uh, calculate the effective depth. Now we talk about size and position of the reef. In situ reef shall be not less than 65 mm, so that is very important. They shall be spaced centered no more greater than 1.5 meter and the depth excluding any topping shall be not more than 4 times the width. Generally, reef shall be formed along each edge parallel to the span of one way slab. So, the slab is one way slab, mind it. When the edge is built into a wall, or rest on a beam, the rib at least as wide as bearing shall form along the edge. Now we talk about the hollow blocks or formers. Block and formers may be suitable material hollow, clay tile, filler type shall conform to IS 3951. So for block. Or former IS codes should be IS3951 part 1. Okay. Structural strength be made concrete or burnt clay and have crushing strength at least 14 Newton. So this is very much important because in this class they are saying the crushing strength should be at least not less than. 14 Newton per mm square. Arrangement of reinforcement. The recommendation given the 
at least 50% total main reinforcement shall be carried through at the bottom of the bearing and anchored in accordance 26.25. Suppose this is your bottom face, this is up face. 50% your total reinforcement should be provided in this bottom section. While slab which continues over support has been designed as simple supported reinforcement shall be provided very rare case they are using simple support. In slab where permanent block the site cover reinforcement shall not be less than 10 mm. Precast joist or hollow filler block. The construction will precast joist hollow concrete filler block shall confirm IS6061. This video I will end here very short and simple video in next video we will talk about regarding flat slab okay so in case you have any kind of doubt do comment in comment front i will definitely get back to you so till then bye bye take care